the guy changed the thing. But you know, I love the fact that with the same sleeper, he went to interview one of the ex-presidents of Ghana, and uh, gradually things are beginning to open up for people to see how powerful con content creation can change the face of Africa. Uh, if you've had the opportunity to live outside of this country before, you would know the stories that are being told out there, right? A lot of negative stuff, and um, we need to shape the story from within. So I am so pleased to welcome the man and the voice behind Africa to the world with a standing ovation. Let's welcome Wada Maya. So, so you came all the way to see Wada Maya, and this is what we do: chicken chips, chicken chips. No, no, no. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please be on the seat. Thank you. Wow. First of all, I just want to say that thank you so much for coming. I intentionally gave a short notice because I was not expecting so many people. But I think I made a worst mistake, man. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I also want to thank um, Men's Big Hotel for sponsoring this event, so we are not paying anything for this event. So I big shout out to Men's Big Hotel. Secondly, I want to say thank you to Casa Preco, yeah? Casa Preco decided to give us drinks and everything. I think the drinks are outside, so whenever you're going out, try and pick your drink. The water, everything is sponsored by Casa Preco. I want to say a round of applause for Casa Preco, thank you. What am I is here, eh? Hey. <laughs> I feel like I'm the most wanted man, man. So, we are here to take African content to the next level. I keep on telling people that each and everyone can be a content creator. But it all depends on you. There's nothing special about what am I? Not, absolutely nothing special. But it all depends on the kind of confidence that you have. See, when I tell people that I'm an introvert, they don't believe it. I'm an introvert, but YouTube made me an extrovert. So sometimes when my introvert personality comes, people think that no, that's not what I'm like. But no, that's me. But I'm here to tell you that, listen, I don't know how to start. Because I feel like if I start talking right now, I'm not going to finish. But let me, I don't know, can we start with questions? Because I, listen, I, I feel like, are we all YouTubers? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, now let me understand. So, we have YouTubers here. What else do we have? Supporters. Supporters. <laughs> what what name do we have in here? Yeah, technically. We have fans in here. Oh, okay. Can I see only my fans then? See, I 
enjoy eating. It's just that my content is not about eating. But if you enjoy eating, just pick up food, eat, record yourself, put it on any social media platform. I was on Twitter recently and somebody said, Facebook doesn't pay. Sabalo made me late, man. Sabalo is, Sabalo is supposed to be around right now. He's one of the people that he's making it big when it comes to Facebook. He has over 6 million followers on Facebook. He's building his houses with just income from Facebook. But yet, some of us sit on Facebook and insult, yeah? YouTube it's a place that I would say that it changed my life because I was born in a village. Went to China. First time using a water closet was when I went to China. Because straight from the village, I came to Accra to apply for my visa. I'm a big fan of fried rice, man. How many of you enjoy eating fried rice, man? Because I always used to get fried rice when my mom goes to funeral and uh, birthday parties, weddings, and she brings fried rice. That's when I enjoy eating fried rice. So when I was applying my visa to go abroad, my dad gave me money. When I got here, it was fried rice every day. Because I don't get a chance to eat fried rice. So I just want to tell you, whatever passion that you have, bring it on camera. You might be a doctor. Do you know how many people want to sit home and know the kind of medication that they need to use? Make money out of it. I would love to know yeah, each and everyone's passion, but I feel like there are too many people today. See, I want to ask five people a question. Why do you create YouTube videos? I am very good in terms of YouTube, so that's the only thing that I can talk about right now. But I just want to know, why do you create YouTube videos? Can I have an extra mic with him? Can I get an extra mic? Why do you create YouTube videos? Why do you create? Okay. Hello, Maya. I am Maya. I am Maya. I am Maya. <laughs> so thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Rolena Nainima. I go by the name R to the A to the A. And it's my style by RNA on YouTube. So it's my life.
Should I, should I mention them? Agenda, agenda. Today I'm going to jump so many people because me, I'm not scared of anyone. Yeah? See, you need to have passion for it. I'm going to use myself as an example. I started YouTube videos in 2013. Two years, when I upload a video, my highest views will be 10. Oh, is that? Yeah. 10 views. And out of the 10 views, I think I watched nine of them. <laughs> See, and let me tell you something. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that when you refresh a YouTube video, it, it counts. So after seeing nine, I start dancing. Two. See, I'm gonna tell you something. When I, the, the first day, I got 500 views. Everyone, I was in the dormitory. Everyone on my floor got to know that I have 500 views. So. All these people, they know my story, so whenever they test me, they, they, they will be like, we're so proud of you. So don't give up. So far as you have passion, it took me two years, no one was watching me. I, I didn't even have, I started YouTube videos with Samsung S2. And I didn't know how to edit. So whenever I shoot video, I go and give it to someone to edit for me. It will take like two to three months. But before, before I get one video, the day that I got mad, that why are these people doing this to me? I think my, come, come, come here, come. Come here. This guy, I've been working with him since China days. He's from Tanzania. We can't hear you from out here. My name is Peace or self Peace. Peace. Oh, yeah. not Peace from Tanzania. Okay. I started working with him when I was in China. He he knows he knows my story. To the extent that peace do I have to tell them. Those days, he was one of the people that when I give them videos, it will take them four months to get my video. <laughs> and there was a time peace was even fed up. Because Maya, I mean we have gigs. Thank you, peace. We have gigs, like you know, he's a videographer, so People pay to, but you, it was a day. I got to a place, got the people that I want to shoot videos with. Peace was supposed to come on Saturday. Peace did not show up. Peace went to do his gig. And he left me, oh, peace. So this is my story. So I, I know why. Thank you. <laughs> so it's all about having passion for what you do. See, you might start today, it might take you three years. Someone might start today and the person will blow up right now. Everyone is different. Don't compare yourself with anyone, see? Sometimes I'll say that, I don't know why there are so many people here. I don't really watch everyone, unless you are doing makeup videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I don't know you, maybe your videos are makeup because me, I shower, I just wear my shirt and I'm out. So I don't know, maybe I need to apply some makeup or something. Oh, Miss Rudy needs it too. No, yeah, but she has to watch it herself. Thank you. I need, I need, I need to, I need questions so that we'll be able to make sure that if I have to say there something. There is one here. Can you lift your hand? I'll come to you. Okay, so I just want to ask. Let's say, for instance, you have been on YouTube and then you have kind of like but like an electric and you want to start again. How do you come back? That is the hardest thing to do. YouTube is all about consistency. See, even me, when I want to take a break for two weeks, when I come back, I have to struggle to get my views back again. I don't know, maybe it's something about YouTube. I think Adi will explain that. But if you're not consistent on YouTube, Especially, you grow a channel, you get to a number, and then you go and do your own thing, and after two months, three months, you say, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No, we are busy eating. We have not seen you. That's how it works on YouTube, so you have to keep up every single day. See, I think I'm one of the fastest growing YouTube channel in, I mean, in Africa. Well, I think within two years I've been able to move from 100 to 900. 
You know why? Because of consistency. There's nothing special about what I'm at. It's just consistency. And consistency comes with evolving. Change your content sometimes. If everyone loves you doing makeup. See, I started using my videos as I was a comedian, yeah, a stand-up guy. I was not funny at all. My friends were like, you're not funny, stop. <laughs> I started being a comedian. I was not growing. That's why it took me two years, because I was not funny. I moved from being a comedian to somebody who was talking about Africa-China relationship. And when I did that, hey, people were like, oh, I've experienced that one too. I'm like, okay, now I got the people. Now I changed again to target black people all over. So instead of using Africa, I was using being black in China. And that's when I saw my growth. And then at some point, I was just tired of living in China. And I, dis I, I decided to bring that movement called Africa to the world. And then I moved to Africa. See, I went to Ethiopia. One month of traveling in Africa, I had 50,000 subscribers. I've never seen anything like that before. I went back to China, packed all my stuff, because it took me four years in China to get 100K. I'm in Africa for one month, and I'm getting like 50,000. Why do I have to go back to China? So it's all about consistency and then evolve. Whenever you, see, don't be scared of trying new things. I was so scared. I want to tell you something. There's a new video that I'm doing on my channel about try if you guys have seen it yeah exactly the one that I went to Namibia and there's one that I did in um, South Sudan I was so scared when I was trying that content because people know what am I to be the guy who shows beautiful destinations but ah oh, come on what am I why are you going to the village to and I'm like you know what this is Africa this is our people man see all those videos that I've done none of them got less than a million views the first one has 2.5, the second one just two weeks ago, 1.2 million. So it's all about start now. When something is working, try new things. And when that thing works, trust me, you, you have a gold mine. I don't know if I have to say this before. Please, having a YouTube channel is more like having a gold mine. I describe YouTube as an ATM machine. So YouTube is an ATM machine, or you can say what? Gold mining. Why ATM machine? You have to put what? You have to put what? Money. Ha, 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 how can you put money? No, you don't need money. You don't, eh? Work, right? you don't, the money has to be there, work. No, you don't, you don't need money to start a YouTube channel. Ha, have a YouTube channel. Depositing money is what? Is depositing what? Content. And at the end of the month, you go to the ATM machine, that's ATM machines, how it works. That's a YouTube channel. And a gold mine is when you have a niche that works for you. To the extent that as soon as you upload a video, you sleep, you wake up the next morning, 100K. That's a gold mine. I wish I can get one on one to everybody to teach people how it works, but it's hard. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Yeah? Next question. Um, my name is Nana Eboa. My the channel name is Entrance TV. And my question is, some of us we do our like we create content on our local dialect. How does that have effect on YouTube? How how local content performs at local dialect? Okay. I have to be honest, yeah. Be honest. When I was coming to Ghana. I realized that all the YouTube channels that we have was in three. All of them. But let me tell you something. I'm not saying don't speak your language, but as soon as you start speaking your language, you are limited. YouTube is what? A global platform. I think most of us that create YouTube channel are inspired by maybe Zion Felix, maybe Zion Felix and the big guys in the game. Kofi TV, Koku Menu, yeah. You see, when you start creating content in your own language, one, how do I, how do I, make sure that how many people speak three on the platform? So which means you are creating content for only what? Ghanaians. So if you are good with that, I don't have any problem with it. But you are limited in terms of growth. You are limited in terms of income. 
a video that will pay this man for speaking English, maybe he might be getting a thousand dollars, but you using three, trust me, you'll get even more than a hundred dollars. We all had the same views. I don't know if you understand what I mean. We, we, we all had the same views, but we are not making the same money. We are not on the same level. Somebody might have a million subscribers, having so much views, but language limits everything. So I don't know if I'm, I answered your question. I'm not saying don't speak your language. You can, but know that your, your videos will just be around Ghanaians. But if you want to go global, speak the global language. Thank you. Okay, next one here. Yeah, my name is Onapo General. Hey. And uh, with Maya, we are still expecting you at the movie. So make it a preparation and come there. I'll come around. Now, uh, my question is a build up on what you just said. Yeah. And um, let me just introduce my YouTube channel. It's called Real Trends TV. It's one of the biggest um, YouTube channel, and I have um, 17 subscribers. Thank you. Um, so I just want to ask, assuming I'm doing uh, the lifestyle um, content, and all of a sudden I realize that um, switching to entertainment or any other thing will give me more views. Is there a need for me to delete all that I have done on lifestyle, or I should build up on it? Thank you. Okay, nice one. So, you don't have to delete. See, one YouTube channel can have so many, I call them subsets, like sub videos. Well, you, you can be, somebody said, Life, lifestyle, please. lifestyle, makeup, beauty. You can have different type of videos on one particular YouTube channel, but mm -hmm. not the one that your audience loves so much. I, when I started, when COVID came, I was supposed to, I was, I was creating what you call it, um, travel content before COVID. But after COVID, during COVID, I'm like, what am I gonna do? What I did was, I changed my content by just meeting Ghanaians who have something doing in Ghana, and I asked them, can you talk to me, please? See, I used to beg them that, hey, please, can, can you speak to me? The same concept, but different videos. And trust me, it changed my channel from 200K to 600K. So it's all about trying something different. You can't be doing one thing all the time. Let the channel have different kind of thing. But the most important thing is the representative, you being the brand behind the channel. People love watching you. If you even if you sleep, they'll still watch you because it's you. Okay, next one here. Hi, um, my name is Jessica. I'm based in um, London. Um, I'm actually in... It's Jessie. Um, my content is mainly focused on uh, the UK going away being in London, but I want to do, like, expand it to Ghanaian because I want to kind of like tips and tricks or how to do that. I think Vanessa will be the best person to ask that. Okay, so we're we'll on to the next one, the big there, please. Uh, um, Put your hands up and I'll come to you. Yeah. Hi, good evening. US and Turkey's from the French Caribbean. You are saying that people watch you because it's you. Uh, IT will be the next thing to deal with in the future. That's the only thing. To say uh, that global is illimited, but like me, new cover, and there will be new covers on the net. You might be missing, people will, will drop to say, there are just 24 hours in a day. More people come in with new new channels. What will be the phenomenon? How how the audience will be able to stay with you, to stay with your colleagues, and then welcoming us as well? Good. Good. Good question. Did you really get it? I uh, like uh, I didn't really get it. Did you? Can can you ask? Like me? how you stay? There will be more people on the net. Yeah. More and more people, exactly. To say how you will be able to keep your audience and how, how me, like a newcomer, will yeah. be able to find people. Oh, okay. If, yeah, see, thank you. YouTube is big. All right, and I always encourage people to come on board. I will say that, normally, I don't know if I have to say this here. 
my YouTube audience to be an Ashao on YouTube. I normally say that on my videos, and they know it. That's why people think I'm most influential YouTuber. Why? Because I told my audience that you love watching me, right? But when I step this side, know that this brother also needs your help. I am lucky to have the people watching me, but transferring my audience, I think, do I have people that knows? Like, I, I love transferring my audience to so many people in terms of, if, like, after, like, watching my videos, you can watch other people. But the answer to that question is like, you have to do what you do. If I have the audience, and the same audience loves him, that same audience will go and subscribe. I think I've subscribed to so many channels. So people can subscribe to different channels, but the most important is how do you keep them? I can do a collab video with you, you might get all the subscribers, but will you be able to keep them? So that's why I'm so scared whenever I want to do collab with people, because I feel like after you give them the audience, they don't know how to use the audience well. That's it. So you have to know, like, I always tell people, be ready. If you want to do a collab, be ready. Like, if, as soon as I do collab with Watermaya, when the people come to your channel, will they find other videos to watch? So it's not always about collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. I don't want to say collaborate, but don't hate. But when you're collaborating, make sure that when their audience comes to your channel, will they get something to watch? Or will they stay? It's very important. Very, very important. Because that is the thing. Okay, next one here. Hey! <laughs> and, and you definitely uh, want to say something because I missed you all. Oh. Yeah. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, brother. Because yes. I've been on my comment section almost <laughs> every single day. There's no video that I've dropped that he has never commented. Please, a round of applause. It won't affect 
the I think the ads only affect um, black, like blood related content. I didn't want to speak about that. So we have um, a YouTube representative from you know, West Africa, the whole of South Saharan Africa here. Yeah? So I think he he will be the best person to ask me questions. Hi, hi everyone. Really so good to see you guys. Like see the number of people here is ridiculous. But anyway, just to quickly answer that, no, if it's controversial, but not um, what's the word? Not violating any of our community guidelines. So that's nudity, profanity, those kinds of things. You should be fine. So if you're talking about you know a particular topic that you know is controversial, but it's controversial in terms of culture, but not necessarily violating any of our community guidelines, you should be fine. But I think most people would see, like, you guys are probably familiar with the yellow icon, right? Like, so when you see the yellow icon, that means we're reviewing it, but usually, um, as long as it's not violating community guidelines, you're fine. Thank you, Adi. Okay, the next one here. Sorry, sorry. Thank you so much, Bode, for organizing mm -hmm. this event today. A uh, very quick question. I wanted to find out, I know most of us are jumping on the YouTube wagon now, um, but with all good things, things have to come to an end. So in terms of if YouTube does come to an end, but we're also invested in it, have you given any thought to how to diversify? Um, That's why I always say, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Build. See, I, I, I think that question is for me, yeah? Because I'm that guy, if the platform is not paying me, you won't see me there. Yeah. When Instagram decided not to pay me, it was recently that my guys were forcing me to start uploading on Instagram. When I, I saw that, you see, I don't just jump on YouTube just like that. One, impact. But you need to have what, a backup. I will say this, and I'm going to answer this in two forms. If you're a YouTuber, as soon as you start making money, think of investment. See, YouTube is changing every day. Now they're even charging us taxes. It's changing every day. So you need to have what? A backup. When the money, how many of you are getting paid in there? Hey. You got your salary, so how many people? How many? Ah, no. Oh. Monetize the channel. How? Oh. Ah, no, you can monetize, just raise up your hand. Um, I, 
we are so excited to uh, see you here, basically. Thank you. So, my name is Isaac Osei and I have a personal channel. It's best my name, Isaac Osei -Pisi. So, um, I relocated from the States uh, probably four or five years ago. Wow. And one of the things that I noticed was when I started hiring people, uh, was that the skill set of especially new graduates was quite low. Um, and most people were complaining that there was no, no jobs in that country, which is, which is the case, basically. But when you peel deeper down the onion, you realize that sometimes most companies don't have because they are not expecting to get the right skill set from uh, out of the new grads. And that's what I've done. I worked in uh, UK for many years. Uh, I worked in UK for eight years and nine years in the, in the States, in corporate UK and in the US. So I decided to actually kind of mentor uh, and, and coach young people, especially in even how to present yourself in, uh, in an interview. Because of all the job interviews that I did in both Europe and, and, and the States, there was no single job interview that I didn't get an offer. So I created that. But the problem that I see is that starting a new channel like that, sometimes you need other thought leadership collaborators. And one of the things that I'm struggling to do is that I, is, I struggle to find people within that space or talk, people within that thought leadership content area. You know, you find people in lifestyle, in politics, in, um, let's say, tourism and that kind of thing, but thought leadership is rare. So I, I wanted to find out if Odemaya would be open to create some kind of a YouTube group for us so that we can collaborate together, we can band together, we like a family. And, uh, and, and I think that would help, um, you know, push this movement forward. Thank you very much. I, I have been saying this over and over again. Like, this meetup is something that I wish it can be organized every week. Because we have so many people that it, where's, where's, um, where's this lady, what's her name? I'm a governor, is here? Yeah, yes. Please, you have, to, you have to come for it. So, it's more of um, having, coming together as one, nothing like competition. You see, we, we all should have a different niche. See, I have a problem when it comes to African content creation. Now, what is happening right now is that when somebody sees that this content is working for this person, see, I'm a governor did a video and I thought that I was crazy. Like she she used structural acting American. And what, the first day I saw the video, where is she? Hey, Madam American, come forward. Woo! What? What? When I saw the video, I was like, that is new in the space. This is why I love Nubuke. Is Nubuke here today? She is here. This is one of the reasons why I love Nubuke because you see something that has not existed in the African community space. We should have. Not all of us can be showing you hotels. Not all of us can be showing you entrepreneurs in Africa. Not all of us can be showing you makeups. There's something in you, like what you enjoy. I love what you see because it's. See, I. After here, I'm gonna subscribe to your channel, yeah? Okay. Because I feel like I need some mentorship, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you know, channels like this, it's so different. You watch, you learn something new. I, I subscribe to so many channels that are not in Africa. Anytime you subscribe, you watch something different. Like this person, even though whatever they come together, they exchange subscribers. But if you go to their channels, everybody's videos are different. Okay. I want us to work together, let's collaborate. But let's be unique in our own way. Okay, next one. Hi, my name is Mandy. I'm on YouTube as Miss Cuteness. I'm on Instagram as Miss Cuteness. I do um, market, gloss, lifestyle in between, everything, living in drama, life and living it. My question is after you shoot your video, you edit your video, and then you upload it. I know sometimes most people think when you upload it, that is it. But I know there are some technicalities with the upload and all that. The key was the certain things. And in Ghana, it's very difficult to find uh, avenues that will educate us about the keyword and the technical part of it. Yeah, we just started. Yeah, we just started. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we have to. Yeah. Thank you. So normally, when you are monetized, the YouTube is supposed to send you a pin when they have your request for, and it takes, in my situation, it has taken a longer time and it's not in yet. Two and weeks? Two weeks into the year. And I applied in April. No, 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 I, I, then you have to use the right post office because I just paid it for someone, a news anchor in Ghana, two weeks ago, my, and I, I just went for the letter. Mine, since April. Is it in Accra? Yes, yeah. in Accra. Since April, it's not in yet. And Normally, to they sent an email that with time when you have not inputted a pin, they would remove the yeah. monetization. Yeah. So I wanted to ask the YouTube rep here. We are in a COVID time, and sometimes oh. some of these things take a longer time. I don't know for me, but as you said, in two weeks, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, uh, See, right or wrong? I've subscribed to your channel a long time. Yes, I'm aware. I joined your live some time away, some time back. <laughs> <laughs> but Maya, one last question to us. I do agree with related content. Yeah. And recently, with your interview with Zion Felix, yeah. you told him you started some farms and yeah. stuff that you do. Yeah. I'm making a proposition. I'm shooting my shot. Okay. When you are ready to showcase it, I want I'll to have that opportunity. I will invite you. I would appreciate that. I will invite you. My YouTube will appreciate that, and my viewers will appreciate that as well. The reason why I subscribed to this channel was I was just on YouTube and I saw a farm video. And he, oh, he only concentrates on farming. And I love farmers, you know. And this is what I'm telling you. It can be different and unique in your own way. And for monetization, you just have to reapply again. They'll bring it. It's two weeks. I, I just did. I, I just did it. I don't have a personal mail, so I use the University of Ghana one. No, no, that's why. That's why. You use the get a, a, a friend. You can okay. You. I'll, I'll make it. What's my PA? Titi. Here. See, after this, I see my PA. We'll give, I'll give you uh, a new post office box, okay. and then you just put it. We're just gonna give you, and then we'll take it and give it to you. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna segue you. I'm a mentor for women in agribusiness, okay. and they would want to subscribe to you. So please see me after in Cayman. Yes, please. I will. Okay. Woody, yeah. It was the China story mm -hmm. with. Her. Uh, Africans being mistreated in China. Yes. My daughter sent me that and said, Mommy, what are you doing about this? And I'm like, hey, sister, I am not president of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she kept on going, so who is the man that is there doing something? I want to vote for him. Hey, I don't know you. He says Ghana baby, I don't know anything about him. I need a follow-up story so she can get off my case. Yeah. I was going to say the other word, but we are screaming. Okay, and I, I, I don't want to be like that. Yeah. I need a follow-up story. What happened to those people? People are wanting to know. Did they go home? Did, where are they? What is happening? We need a follow-up on all those people that were walking the streets. Oh, what it now or after the video? For a video? Or on a video? On a video, so, so no, so that this girl, she's she's giddy. All right, I maybe will. I should let her marry you and then we walk. Hey. Okay. 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 Uh, the local uh, audience. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you get international audience to follow and subscribe? So, 
So they are going to put our more the video to tell more people paying or more people watching uh, abroad other than in Canada. Okay, how do that? Uh, uh, please, we, we all gonna uh, I'll answer that, but we all have to find a way and create a YouTube video. Like we all have to find a way after this event. There's a pool down there. Just pick up your camera. We, we, we shoot it. Like everyone who's shooting here needs to upload a video. And if you upload a video, I'll see it one way or the other and I'll, I'll repost it. But um, let's all try it. Each and everyone should be in somebody's video. So, so I mean, I'm not going to talk too much after. Give me like 20 minutes to be done. We all go downstairs. Let's get to know each other. And please don't ask me for my number. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Sorry. So, having an international audience, like I said, it's all about the kind of content that you create. Like, if you create a YouTube video where it attracts Americans, people from different parts of the world, that's why you actually make money. Um, creating videos in Africa, having, like, you know, we have something called CPA. If your CPM is coming from Africa, because advertisers in Ghana, I don't think they pay that much. So, if you have views coming from America, you can make five, six times of somebody watching you from Ghana, or Nigeria, or anywhere in Africa. I think the last time I did research, I realized that Namibia is one of the African countries with high CP. And the people in Namibia don't even know anything about YouTube. Next one. Hi. Oh, uh, uh, create uh, content about like people. I do most documentary, so I use YouTube as a platform to show documentaries. The problem that I face here, and I think maybe you can help me with that, is that I know you go to a lot of different countries, and of course, different. Please, please, silence. We need to hear the questions, please. Thank you. So yeah, uh, so you go to a lot, a lot of countries and they have different cultures. And I want to know when you, for example, go to Namibia, how sure you are that what you are showcasing is showing what is actually happening there. And do you do like a kind of research before that? And how do you think, maybe, maybe if someone is offended by what you show of Namibia, how do you uh, solve that problem? So, I mean, offending people on YouTube happens every day. I think when I go to South Africa, they will catch me and beat me again. Because I went to South Africa, I said something in South Africa and it didn't go well. So today, uh, people from South Africa don't like me. But, you know, with time, they'll fall in love. Um, when it comes to me, my content, like, I always say that I don't do research before I travel. I always get there, find somebody from the country and that person will tell their own story. So I'm more like a learner. I, I travel like an ignorant person. So I travel, all I know is, okay, where I'm sleeping, my flight, and everything. When I get there, then I start asking questions. So by the time you realize, if you watch my YouTube videos, you realize that you always see people talking. I will just talk about my first impression. The rest is the people from the country that are telling their own story. That's my style. So I, don't, I think you can find someone from Ghana to speak with. Okay, so next one from Jasmine Ama.
get where you, you, you usually get. I don't know if you understand. I mean, like oh, you the best out of the of, of, of that. That's what I'm saying, that it's all about finding somebody from the country. That, that, that's what helps me. I, I, I just look for a fan or a YouTuber, and that's it. The YouTuber will tell me that that's my brother, that's my sister, my uncle. That's it, I'm done. Yeah. Okay, next one here. Okay, my, uh, my name is Clinton Obosu. Uh, mine is not uh, a question, but a suggestion for all of us, on behalf of all of us. I think that, Maya, if you look at the crowd here, you understand that most of us are into serious business and want to learn from you. And there are so many aspects that we can touch. The aspect is not that we are not being creative. We are being creative, but some of us don't know whether our content is going to sell. And some people are not actually facing problem with the content itself. But they don't know how to market what they are selling. You know, there are two types of marketing here. One, the product is good and you just want to buy it. Another is the product is good, but the people who are buying it don't even know the, how good the product is. The problem about Ghana is the people who are buying our content don't even know how good it is. So you see all of us copying other people's projects. So what I want you to do for us and what I'm beseeching you to do for us is why don't you create a school for us? Every aspect of YouTube we want us to learn. Every aspect that we want to learn, let's break it down into courses. Because we can't get everything today. So we keep on planting on you every single day till we extract all the information we need to extract. Thank you. Me, 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 come on, come on. So, one last question. Me, come on, come on. Oh my God. Surprise coming there, you guys know what you know. 